Hello, everybody. This is Francesco uh, from Fattori di Montemaggio. <laughs> welcome back to a new Wine Thursday and welcome, uh, of course, to this new uh, 2022 year. So uh, this is actually the first live of the 2022. I'm very, very, very excited. So uh, of course, we wanted to have this little uh, toast together uh, today, of course, uh, to celebrate the new, the new, the new year, the brand new start of this new year. And uh, we wanted actually, of course, to speak about uh, a couple of things that we are about to do in this new 2022. As always, we are going to give a couple of minutes to uh, the people to join me in this conversation, to join us in this conversation. Uh, so, uh, of course, um, we are going to uh, chat a little bit about uh, um, a very specific argument that we actually didn't announce uh, on purpose. Uh, of course, we wanted to uh, introduce you a little bit what we are um, what we are going to do um, during this uh, during this uh, you know 2022 um, with the, with the, with the one Thursday we are going to um, you know um, let's say change a little bit the format we are going to um, let's say try new things and I wanted also to explain you a little bit what will happen uh, uh, and what kind of uh, let's say uh, idea we have for this uh, for this um, kind of uh, you know show let's call it this way so uh, first of all we actually already announced that uh, we um, uh, where we're going to change a little bit this format so it will not be um, anymore just you know uh, one discussion where of course will be only me uh, you know explaining things talking about things uh, um, you know uh, by myself but for now on we will try every two weeks to have uh, of course a special guest that of course belongs to the world of wine and of course we, we are saying that since already one month, uh, one month. But uh, of course, now we are very happy to to confirm you that, and uh, you know, it will change quite a lot. The format it will change quite a lot. The, the way we want, of course, to uh, to do this uh, to do this live stream and to you know communicate about our territory and Montemagno and so on. Uh, I'm sorry. I think we have a comment. Daniel says, hi, Francesco. Hi, Daniel. <laughs> Thank you so much for the comment. I hope, of course, you're doing fine. And of course, I hope you had a wonderful start for this 2022. So, of course, we uh, we were uh, we were, of course, trying to understand a little bit better. Of course, I'm coming back to the previous argument. We were trying a little bit mm, to understand a little bit better. How can we, you know, cre create and, of course, um, how can we, um, you know, develop a little bit differently this kind of new format? That's the reason why it took uh, a while. I mean, uh, for for all the things that you want to do in a in a good way, it takes a little bit of time. Like for the good wine, you know, to have good wine it takes a lot of time. It's, uh, even to you know create a format like that, uh, it will take a lot of time. So again, today we're very very happy to announce you that of course we'll start. And uh, we will have very, uh, of course, very, very nice and beautiful conversation with a lot of people that belong to the world of wine. Uh, so they will be able to share their knowledge we, with you, their experiences. And uh, again, we are super, super excited. Of course, let us know if you if you have uh, some kind of a topic that you want to discuss uh, with, uh, in general, with all the people that belong to the world of wine, if you have any type of, uh, you know, um, idea that that you have, if you have some kind of people that you want to uh, uh, to, of course, uh, um, uh, you know, invite and so on. Um, we will be very happy. I will be very happy to 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 you know um, explore every different possibility. We have another comment. One second, Evelyn. Basile, I, I hope I pronounced your last name uh, correctly. Uh, so looking forward for the Twitter chat at the Juan Savita space in a half hour with Katerina Anderson and you. Yeah, I'll also look forward for that. Actually, I wanted also to 
uh, to, to remind that to all the people uh, that, uh, of course, uh, we are going to do these beautiful things today. We're going to have this beautiful chat on the Twitter space, uh, Wines of Italy, with Caterina Anderson, and we're going to talk about the wine from Tuscany, uh, and from Chianti Classico especially, and about a very interesting and very, very specific topic. And I'm so, so excited for it. It will be at eight, so in half an hour. Uh, of course, if you have Italian one, if, if, sorry, not Italian one, Italian time, I wanted to say. And again, we are going to uh, discuss about one. So thank you so much, Evelyn, for the comment and really, really, really appreciate your comment. Uh, so I hope, of course, you, um, we'll, we will be able to interact also uh, in the Twitter space. Thank you so much. Anyway, uh, going back to the to the to the main argument uh, of this uh, of this live stream again, uh, if you have any type of suggestion, I will be so so happy about it. So let me know. Um, so today, actually, I wanted also to speak about another uh, topic uh, that uh, I think it's you know very important to be discussed, very important to be explored. And uh, today, actually, I was uh, having a very lovely tasting with, uh, with a guest of us here. And we started a conversation about the Sangiovese del Tacuata. So all this kind of like Sangiovese grape, uh, you know, that uh, are uh, grown uh, on a very high altitude. So, in, you know, um, those kind of areas that are around, approximately around 600 and up to 700 meters above the level of the sea. And we were like reflecting, we were like discussing about the, the fact that, you know, Monte Maggio is one of those beautiful representations. So I said, what a better argument to start a new year uh, you know, um, there's no there's no better argument to compare to you know Sangiovese Giovese Delta Quota uh, to start an, an, a new year of uh, of live stream. So I decided to speak a little bit about this uh, little topic, if you don't mind, just to start in, in a very easy and uh, you know approachable uh, way. This new format of the, the Wine th Thursday um, uh, of the 2020. 2022, uh, and uh, uh, you know, I wanted to give you um, as much as information I can about this topic. So, first of all, what do we mean by San Giovese del Tacuata? San Giovese del Tacuata, again, uh, we, we we use this term to define all, all those kind of San Giovese that are uh, you know produced uh, and grown on a very high altitude, again, in between approximately 550 600. Uh, up to 700 meters above the, the level of the sea. Of course, uh, I say up to 700 meters above the level of the sea because from the uh, point of view of the Consortium of Chianti Classic, if you take a look at the disciplinary, you cannot grow uh, Sangiovese higher than 700 meters here in Chianti Classic. Of course, it's possible in other parts of Italy, but our disciplinary, for our disciplinary, it's not uh, it's not legal. It's something that you don't uh, want to do, of course. Uh, you cannot do. But uh, again, can also be grown on a higher altitude. Anyway, in those kind of altitudes, because of the climate, because of the altitude, because of this fresher climate that you find on a higher uh, altitude, you can have a very different kind of expression of uh, wine. Uh, and uh, there are a lot of great representation, both in Chianti, classical area, but of course, in uh, in you know the generic Chianti, think about uh, again the Rad in Chianti area, Monte Maggio. Think about Lamole, which is in the municipality of Greve, but again, it's a uh, you know it's considered a sub zone basically at this point, and uh, um, it's, uh, it's another area that of course is pretty uh, high in terms of altitude. In uh, the wine have has those can have those kind of, those kind of characteristics that are typical of fresher climate you know they have this kind of like um let's say verticality you know they are uh they have those kind of wines they, they have this beautiful freshness beautiful acidity lower alcohol percentage and super light 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 color uh and um also think about when it comes about the generic chianti so all the other areas of the Chianti, uh, um, they are, you know, around Toscana, we can think about Chianti Rufina, even there you have this kind of like a verticality, like a narrow uh, kind of, um, you have this kind of like narrow perception when you drink this kind of wine, you know, and uh, you have this kind of like beautiful freshness, and it's kind of like the same, so I would say Chianti Rufina is a little bit less uh, complex, a little bit more simpler compared to 
the one you can find in Chianti Classico era, but again, it's a great, great expression of San Giovanni del Tapuata. So today we were discussing about this with a, with a guest of ours, uh, and uh, yeah, I probably, uh, you know, I probably agree on the fact that uh, we can really, um, I mean, it's those kind of San Giovanni are really the, the, the best expression, the best, uh, you know, expression that, that you can find when it comes about this kind of typicity of territory. And uh, yeah, so that's the reason why I wanted to start this new, um, you know, series of uh, live stream talking about this very important argument. Uh, and it's not only about the Sangiovese that you use for, for Chianti Classico, actually. It's uh, about Sangiovese in general, you know, even Sangiovese you use for the blend. And I, we were thinking about it, about this, you know, Sangiovese, here in general, I have this kind of like characteristic that it's like again super light, very fresh, very mineral. And everywhere you use it, uh, think about even in a blend, think about uh, Quintessenza di Montemaggio. I have the bottle here. This is a blend of Merlot and Sangiovese, 60% of Merlot and 40% of Sangiovese. Even here, this kind of Sangiovese gives you like this super light. In beautiful ex expression, minerality, like earthy notes. Mm, on the nose, of course, this is a wine that clearly talk like a summary between Merlot and Sangiovese. On the mouth, anyway, the Sangiovese, uh, you know, mm, uh, the finesse of the Sangiovese and the minerality of this kind of like Sangiovese del Tacuata is really taking over, you know, uh, super smooth, super mineral. You have also this kind of like hematic taste almost iron, uh, um, you know, very great, great, great quality, super smooth, uh, beautiful acidity. You will start to salivate actually a lot when you drink it. Mm, and uh, also at the same time, you have a very, very balanced uh, tannino, mm, I would say medium plus tannino, uh, very elegant, but at the same time, very crunchy. It's beautiful, really, really beautiful. And uh, anyway, the Sangiovese, since you have this very great character of Sangiovese takeover, um, probably, mm, you know, uh, you can perceive there is a Merlot, but the Sangiovese is really the king, anyway, um, in this, uh, this kind of blend, from my point of view, you know, you have this great, great minerality, great earthy notes. Uh, again, we have this little, like, uh, emotic trace in this wine, and uh, it's really characteristic that you can find in super high quality Sangiovese from, from this uh, from this kind of area. So it was a great, great representation. Plus this is 2014, which is the vintage we have out now. And uh, this vintage is, uh, is really, I think, amazing because it was a very cold vintage, a little bit humid. So in the beginning, you know, it was, we were not sure, uh, you know, if it was going to be, uh, if would have been like a very, uh, you know, easy vintage uh, or, you know, eventually would have been very difficult and actually it was kind of difficult in the end, but uh, the wines are amazing. It's a very, very great, great expression and great representation of the, uh, of the wine that we can produce here. Fresh mineral, again, very vertical, uh, very capable of expression and very good for a longer aging process. Uh, Daniel uh, is asking how many bottles are produced of this wine here, wine you're talking about. Actually, in 2014, we were uh, actually uh, producing um, 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 around approximately 660. I think the, the correct uh, answer, um, uh, uh, the correct uh, answer is, is uh, 667. So, sorry, I wanted, of course, to be precise. Um, uh, 667, that specific vintage. So we can, uh, of course, super limited edition um, production. Uh, but yeah, it was really, really good. Uh, so uh, one second, we have another comment from Evelyn. Okay. So thank you so much, Evelyn. She wrote, Francesca, I'm a good friend of Katarina, uh, and I'm featuring the program uh, today on my wine page, Fine Bus, which is devoted to commentary and education. You're welcome to join us and post there as well. So thank you so much. I will do that for sure. Thank you for, 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 for commenting. And sorry, sometimes the, the internet connection goes a little bit slower, so I see the notification of the comment and the comment arrive uh, like uh, 30, 40 seconds later. So I'm very sorry if sometimes it takes uh, takes a while for me to read uh, messages, but you know, 
it's the it's the good uh, the, 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 the I mean it's the good and the uh, bad thing of being live. You know, uh, everything it's uh, it's uh, uh, I mean it's uh, it's live at the moment, and you know sometimes in the internet connection it will be uh, it will be complicated. So I will do that for sure. Thank you so much, Evelyn, uh, and uh, of course we will we will also interact later. It would be very very great for me. Very very nice for me to to be able to speak with uh, all of you. Thank you again. So uh, anyway, um, to go back to the, the Daniel question, yes, 667. Uh, and usually, again, it's approximately 600 um, bottle production. Of course, some kind of vintages that were a little bit more uh, proficuous in terms of the number. It was a little bit bigger, the production. But again, super limited edition in general. Uh, and uh, again, certainly, uh, I can recommend the 2014 for for this uh, for this kind of wine for this kind of blend, it, I mean it's in a great moment, really great great moment, super balanced. I mean, and uh, there is this kind of like again tannins that are, as I told you before, it's kind of like medium plus tannins. I would say very elegant, truly very elegant, but also crunchy, which is which is something that is super nice. And sometimes when it, tannins are too crunchy, it's over like overpowering. I would say in English. Uh, um, and uh, um, it's uh, uh, you know a little bit too much, but with this wine, it's everything balanced. And again, it's a uh, uh, it, it's a really, really, really great. It's a really great ex expression for for me at the moment, and it's uh, a beautiful, beautiful moment. Uh, I would suggest, of course, to drink this wine from now up to you know five years from now, six years from now, seven years from now. But anyway, it can be aged for for even more time. I mean, uh, let's say that. From now up to seven years, it could be the, the, the best moment, I would say, but it can also be uh, aged for a longer, longer time, especially with those kind of Sangiovese in the, in the blend. You know, again, Sangiovese from those kind of areas are really capable to age quite a lot and are really capable to, uh, you know, improve a lot with the, with the timing of aging, which is not always the case. You know, uh, sometimes you find wines that are really amazing in the first two, four years uh, of their lives which is totally fine, but they're not really capable of aging uh, that much because, of course, you know, their personal characteristic, I mean, it's not good or bad, it's just how's, how is the wine. Those kind of wines, I mean, the Montemagis wines, but in general, Radin Chianti areas wines uh, are really capable uh, of a longer aging process and uh, certainly also Quintessenza can, can do that. So anyway, this little live would just to start uh, the new uh, 2022 series and I'm so excited for what is going to happen and I was very 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 happy to to start you know to program the new format and to think about all the people that we, we can invite because I'm sure they will share with uh, with, 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 with me also and also with you a lot of great valuable content that uh, will help all of us to improve and proceed in our wine journey, let's say, you know, and that's something that we really adore because, I mean, Monte Maggio, it's, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a winery that, uh, you know, um, we, we have in our team, all, um, all team that is, you know, so passionate about wine. We're all wine lovers, first of all. We're not people that are working only in the, in the world of wine. We're wine lovers. We are people that are devoted to uh, wine and studying wine and um, tasting wine. And also, as, as, you, as you already know, we, are, we feel like also some kind of like wine educator most of the time, you know. Um, I mean, I spend a lot of time with people talking about wine, um, you know, um, explaining how to taste wine. And, um, you know, we really like this kind of uh, educational part of our, of our um, everyday life in terms of job, you know, and doesn't even feel like a job sometimes, you know, it's feel like, uh, living our passion, so it's it's great. Anyway, let's have a toast together to this 2022. I really hope you had a wonderful start for this 2022. I really hope that everybody's doing fine and everybody's doing uh, well. And uh, uh, of course, I hope that a lot of people will interact with us uh, for the for the uh, new One Thursday 2022 series. And remember that today at 
uh, in, I mean, in 10 minutes from now, uh, from now, we are going to have on uh, the uh, Twitter, Twitter space of uh, um, um, Wines of Italy with Caterina Anderson. We are going to have an amazing, beautiful discussion about Chianti Classico and uh, wine from Tuscany. So, of course, don't miss it and uh, see you there. Cheers again. Let's drink. It's an amazing freshness. It's unbelievable. Very, very beautiful, beautiful freshness. You can salivate a lot. It's really gorgeous. And then you have like this sunny that is super, super crunchy. Anyway, I love this wine. And with this, with this thing, uh, again, I will I wish you a very um, beautiful evening and see you next time. Cheers. Bye.